story time, you may want to grab a small mirror like this. So if you have one, pause the video now and go get it. And if you don't, that's okay. You can still play along. Hello. I'm Miss Julie from the Ada Victory Branch Library. And today I'm dressed up as Mother Goose because we're gonna do some Mother Goose nursery rhymes and we're gonna do them in some fun ways. So do you know who Mother Goose is? See that lady right there? And some Mother Goose nursery rhymes are Jack and Jill went up the hill, um, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, Hickory Dickory Dock. I know you know a lot of them and we're gonna do a few of them today. Okay, so we're gonna start with Jack and Jill. I'll put this down here. In this book, The Real Mother Goose, it's called. Let's see where the Jack and Jill page is. There it is. I don't know if you can see this little picture. See Jack and Jill? They're going up the hill to fetch a pail of water from that well. Okay, so we're gonna say it together. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. All right, now I want you to make the saddest face you can ever make. <laughs> can you make a sad face? What do you do to make a sad face? Do you frown? Do you close your eyes? Do you go like this maybe? <laughs> do you cry? Do you pretend to cry? I'm not really crying and I'm not really sad at all, but let's pretend, okay? Let's be sad as we can be. If you have your mirror, look and see how sad. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna say Jack and Jill, but we're gonna say it in the saddest way possible, as though we're feeling very, very sad. Let's say it together. Jack and Jill went up a hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after <laughs> Did you do it? Oh, is that fun? All right, let's do another one, but let's pretend that we feel very surprised. So show me your surprised face. <gasps> like that? <gasps> Does your mouth go? <gasps> do your eyebrows go up? <gasps> do you gasp? <gasps> Take your mirror if you have one and <gasps> see how surprised you can look. <gasps> let's say Jack and Jill together, but very, very surprised. <gasps> Jack and Jill went up a hill to fetch a pail of water? Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. <gasps> you see, it even changes my voice. Did it change your voice? Okay, great. Let's do another one. Let's do Little Bo Peep. Now here's a picture of Little Bo Peep from the book Each Peach Pear Plum, one of my great favorites. And there she is. She's actually on top of Jack and Jill's hill that they just went up and they've just gone tumbling down. And you can see their little feet right there. This is a very fun book. And so there's little Bo Peep and she has lost her sheep. So let's say this one together. It goes, little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home wagging their tails behind them. All right. I need to dab my eyes because pretending to be very sad actually brought a little tear to my eye. I don't know if it did that for you. Did it make you f get a little bit teary-eyed? <laughs> All right, so now we're going to do Little Bo Peep, but we're going to do it in the most angry way possible. We're gonna pretend that we feel so mad, so angry, so furious. Show me your angriest face. Do your eyebrows go like this? And does your, do you grimace or scowl or uh, growl? Uh, do your hands ball up in little fists like this? What do you do when you're angry? How do you show it? All right, let's do little Bo Peep. Let me find that picture again. But we're going to do it very, very angry. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, wagging their tails behind them. <clears throat> All right, 
Oh, that almost made me feel grumpy. Just pretending to be grumpy. Okay, and now we're going to do little Bo Peep, but we're going to do it in the most worried way we can. Can you show me worried? Oh, I'm just worried. It's not quite scared. It's more like, oh, I don't know what's gonna happen. And I don't like the thought of it. Kind of like that, okay? So what do you do when you're worried? Do, you, do your hands go like this? Do you, do you tremble a little bit? Do, you, do your eyebrows go up like that? Like, I'm so worried. A little bit of a frown maybe? Maybe your chin quivers a little bit? Ooh, ooh. Okay, <laughs> so let's look like we feel very, very worried. While we do, little Bo Peep. Let me get that picture again. And you know, she might be feeling very, very worried because she can't find her sheep. I think I would feel worried if I couldn't find my sheep. Okay, so here we go. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home wagging their tails behind them. Oh. <laughs> All right, very good. Did you look in your mirror to see how worried you could look? Oh, oh my goodness. I just don't know. Oh, maybe you go like that. Oh. <laughs> okay. Next, we're going to do Hickory Dickory Dock. Oh, my costume is falling off. We're going to do Hickory Dickory Dock. And let me find that here. Okay, so here's a book called Hickory Dickory Dock. And it's very silly because a lot of things happen in this book. <laughs> but in the, in the rhyme, it goes like this. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down, hickory dickory dock. And now we're going to do hickory dickory dock, but we're going to do it as if we feel disgusted. Blech. That's if something's gross or disgusting. Ew! So how would your face look? And what would your voice sound like if you were disgusted? Ugh. Ugh. Let's look. Ugh. I see that my nose is wrinkling up. Ugh. And my mouth is pulled back in a grimace. Ugh. Ugh. And my eyes are all squinty like that. Ugh. Oh my goodness, there goes my wig. Okay, all right. So now we're gonna do hickory dickory dock, but like as though we're very, very disgusted. Ugh. Hickory dickory dock. Ugh. The mouse ran up the clock. Ugh. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. <laughs> okay, very good. And now let's do the same rhyme but let's do it as though we feel very, very happy, which in fact I do, and I hope you do too. Okay, so let's say it together happily. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Very good, and what does your face look like when you feel very, very happy? Do your eyes light up? Do your eyebrows shoot up high and your big, big smile across your whole face like that? Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Yay! All right. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, now I think I'm going to fix my wig and we'll come back and sing a song together. Okay, I think I'm all fixed in the wig department. So we're going to sing If You're Happy and You Know It. Do you know that song? Let's sing it together. Goes like this. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. But if you're sad and you know it, cry boo-hoo, boo-hoo. If you're sad and you know it, cry boo-hoo, boo-hoo. If you're sad and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're sad and you know it, cry boo-hoo, boo-hoo. 
But if you're angry and you know it, stamp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're angry and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're angry and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're angry and you know it, stamp your feet. But if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Very good. And I'm feeling very happy to have done story time with you today, and I hope you're feeling happy too. A little note to grown-ups, something that's very important to consider when we talk to children about feelings is that we want to express to them that they are feeling an emotion, that they aren't the emotion. So in our language, we often say, I am sad, I am angry, I am happy, and that's fine because that's just our language. But it can be very nice to uh, consciously think about saying, I feel sad, I feel angry, I feel happy, to help children begin to internalize the idea that they have feelings, they aren't the feelings. And another thing that's important to keep in mind is that we need to talk to children about what these feelings are. Because when little children come into this world, they just experience emotions as sensations that arise in their bodies. And there's no language to attach to it. And so they, they cannot understand what they're experiencing. They can't talk to you about it until they can identify what it is by putting a word to it. So when you see that your child is feeling angry or feeling sad, help them by discussing that with them and giving a name to it. It's very important for their social emotional learning and development. All right, so I'm gonna show you some books now that you might enjoy if you enjoy today's story time. When children can name the feelings that they're feeling and begin to discuss them with you, you can help them come up with strategies for how to deal with those feelings and help them develop those really important self-regulation tools that they'll need throughout their lives in school and in their careers and in their personal relationships. Strategies such as deep breathing exercises and many others. So here are some books in our collection that can help children begin to identify their feelings and talk about them and deal with them. And here are some nursery rhyme books. We have lots of books in our collection that are compilations of nursery rhymes. We also have individual nursery rhyme stories and send-ups of nursery rhymes such as Mary Had a Little Glam. Lots of fun stuff. So please check out your local library, place some items on hold, we have a lot of alternative services at this time, such as curbside hold pickups, uh, personal shopper service, and um, many others. So please check out our website and see what's going on at your library.